So we're here at Chad's friend's house, and they actually gave you their spare room because they're good friends like that, right? My friends will give me a spare room. But they gave you a spare room so that you can kind of make your own studio, your own recording studio. Now, because you just started off in music and you've only been doing it for two years, you are also your own producer, right? So what is the best part about being your own producer? So the best part would have to be being able to just do whatever you want, having that freedom. Um, it allows me to have a unique sound, right. you know, different from whatever anybody else is trying to put out. OK, cool. So you make your own beats, you, you, all the creative side, that's cool. Now, that also could be kind of challenging, right? Tell me about that. So I think one of the challenges with that is that I hold all the accountability. There's no one to point my finger at and say, oh, this beat didn't make the song good. Or, you know, I hold all of that for myself, so. OK, so. Obviously, this isn't a regular place that we're in for a Haina Jam. And actually, this is kind of cool that you are at your own place doing this and yeah. starting basically from the ground up. Can you show me what's behind us and what kind of tools you use to actually come up with an album? Is that OK? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Let's do it. All right, so right here we have uh, my mic stand. Uh, I have this styrofoam around, kind of just to block out the sound. Uh, I'm not in a professional studio, so obviously as much help as I can get with sound reduction. Um, this pop filter does the same thing. And then, yeah, just um, mic stand. Yeah, so my keyboard um, basically produces all my beats on it. You just load samples in. You d literally gets, lets you do whatever you want. So you could make the sound different from that keyboard then, yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah. OK, that's very cool. Now, the sound, I heard it's coming out of here. Right. Walk us through this. All right, so right here you see my soundboard. Um, that basically lets me control everything, uh, everything on the track, um, all the vocals, all the drums, all the melodies, all the synths you may hear on the song. Mm -hmm. um, able to control it right here. OK, so do you think we can hear that real quick? Yeah. What you made? Let's go for it. All right. And this is all here. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah, I'm really nice. Cause I told her Gemini. She said, boy, you must be lying. She ain't never caught a vibe from a guy like me. She ain't really got the time. She working in the city, nine to five. But I got one thing on my mind. And that's you, that's you, oh -ho. Gemini, Gemini. Don't you know that you are my mind? Cause no one really bust it down, girl, like you do. Let me know if you're down, cause I'm down too. Gemini, Gemini. Okay, so tell everybody out there about your music process. Where do you start? Do you hear a beat? Do you just come up with lyrics first? So, being a producer, I like to start with the beat first. Um, making the beat really helps me as a writer. And then from there, you know, I just try to fit melodies and lyrics into the beat that I've produced. Very cool. Now, a lot of big time artists, they, they're their own producers too. Um, tell everybody, who are your big musical influences? So, big in influences, um, obviously Russ. Um, when I started music, it was Michael Jackson. Um, a few others would be Kanye West and J. Cole. Now, let's go back to the song that you're working on. What's the inspiration behind the song? So Gemini was about a, a girl that I met. Um, she was a, obviously a Gemini, and I'm a Gemini. So it was kind of a no-brainer to call it Gemini. Um, but didn't really work out, but I got a good song out of it, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you going for this? Are you hoping that she hears it, or like? Oh, no, 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 it's nothing like that. Um, kind of just, you know, again, um, articulating my experiences and putting it down. Maybe. Hopefully, other people can relate to the situation. OK, OK, cool. Now, do you think you can perform it for all of our Living Italy viewers? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. All right, let's go to the set. <laughs> 